this highway we are following whoever whatever that will <laughs> Oh, hello, I'm Lily. What? Oh, hello, um, I'm Rico, and uh, should we... Yeah. Um, today we're delving into the big wide world of the internet and how we can all use it more safely. With more young people using it every day, either for schoolwork or just for fun, this year's Safer Internet Day is focusing on creating a better internet together. That's right, and our guest today is Gareth Court, who works for ChildNet. Hello, hello Gareth. Hey. <laughs> Great to have you here. Brilliant. Thank you. Uh, before we chat with Gareth, um, Lily and I have been putting together a little quiz for you guys out there. That's what we were working so hard on before, when you so rudely interrupted us. Even you at the back. Yeah, I can see you. Right, I hope you're all listening carefully. As a bit of fun, we're going to ask you three questions about internet safety, and we'll be giving out the answers at the end of this show. Right, so pens and paper at the ready, and no phoning a friend or peeking at your neighbour's answers, all right? Dramatic competition music, please. That was rubbish, mastermind. <laughs> okay, question one. A few of your friends have been leaving mean comments online about someone you know. What do you do? A. Join in. B. Tell a teacher or parent. C. Do nothing. Question two. What should you do if you get annoying pop-ups on your computer screen? A. Always click on them. B. Never click on them and always close them. Or C. Ignore them and hope they will go away. And, and finally, <laughs> question three. Uh, what should you do if someone online asks you not to tell your parents about them? Do you A. Tell your parents straight away. B. Do what they stay and stay silent. C. Ask the person why. So, tricky, eh? I think we should now get chatting to our guest today, don't you, Rico? I think we should, yeah. Hi again, Gareth. Hello. So, can you tell us about Safer Internet Day, which is today, and what young people need to look out for when they're using the internet? Absolutely, yes. So, as you rightly said, today is Safer Internet Day, and it's celebrated across the world. Over 100 countries take part now, including the United States. And the theme for this year's Safer Internet Day is all about making a better internet together. So, it's really a brilliant opportunity for you in your schools and with your friends to highlight what you love about the internet. All the fantastic sites and services for playing games, for chatting with people, for finding out information, maybe even for creating your own content as well. Things like films and games and apps and music and everything else. And then it's also an opportunity to think about how you can stay safe when you're using all those things as well. So a really good thing that you could do is check out our smart rules on the ChildNet website, www.childnet.com. And there, there are five rules really for staying safe online. So uh, they cover things like looking after your personal information. So not giving away your, your email address, your passwords, your home address, your phone numbers to just anyone online. Uh, thinking about the information that you find online. So remembering that sites where other people can give their thoughts and their opinions and their ideas may not always be giving us the, the full picture. Sometimes they don't always tell us the truth. Sometimes they mislead us. And then also thinking about uh, what to do if you're ever worried or uncomfortable about anything you see online, making sure that you know you can always tell someone. That's brilliant, Gareth. And that leads us really nicely on um, to our next clip. Uh, we've got a brilliant film made by First Light, made by uh, film club members, about a young girl who is befriended by a stranger over the internet. So take a look at the clip. Have you heard of Space Monkeys 2? I'm going to get it after school tomorrow. I'd love to come over and play it with you, if my mum would let me. I was thinking, maybe we should meet up. Do you know the woods near my house? We could meet there. I'm not normally allowed in the woods at night, but I suppose I could tell my mum I'm going swimming and just meet you instead. Great, I'll see you there in ten minutes. Yep, that's cool. See you soon. Mum, I'm just going swimming. Back in an hour. Mum! You should never, never go into the woods, especially alone. What are you doing here at night? Isn't it past your bedtime? I'm just waiting for my friend. Oh, I 
think I saw someone down there. Follow me. I'm not sure. My mum said I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. I better wait here. No, come with me and maybe I can take you to the swimming after all. Wait a minute. How did you know about the swimming? Wow, a uh, bit of a cliffhanger to leave the uh, clip on there. Well, what do you think of that, Lily? Well, I think that shows us the dangers of talking to people online and knowing who they are or who they not are. So, Gareth, we have a few questions to you that have been sent in from our schools. Brilliant. From Anton Primary School in Brent. How do you see film helping to promote e-safety? Brilliant question. Thank you, Anson, for sending that in. Um, I think film offers a really fantastic opportunity to share all the things that you love about the internet. Um, and it could be something that's stop motion, it could be live action, but there's loads of different ways of exploring and getting those messages out. And now there's so many sites online where you can upload it, you can potentially reach thousands, maybe even millions of people. And of course, it offers you a great opportunity to, to give some advice and some safety messages as well. So I think the sky's the limit when it comes to film. Great resource. From Chadwell Primary School, Plymouth. From Ellie, are lots of your passwords normally held on one massive computer and what happens if this went wrong? Oh, really good question Ellie. I think about that sometimes myself, where all my passwords are going to be held for all the sites and services that I use as well. Um, I think it's really important to bear in mind that there's not a great deal we could do if that, if that big server or that big company somewhere loses all our passwords. But there are things that we can do individually to look after them ourselves. So a really good thing to do is to make sure we're not giving it out to people that we don't know and trust. At the end of the day, passwords are meant to be private. So keeping them that way and not sharing them with your older brother or, or sister or not sharing them with your best friend is a really good way of making sure that other people can't access your accounts. It's also a really good idea to try and make them tricky to guess as well and use capital letters, lower case letters, uh, numbers, symbols on your keyboard, all of those kind of things can make them really difficult. And I had a fantastic stat um, a couple of months ago that apparently if you make a 20 character password, so it has 20 letters or numbers in it, it will take a computer billions of centuries to crack basically. It's almost uncrackable. So the longer you can make them, the better. Brilliant tip, thank you. So we have another question from Martha. How do passwords work and how can we choose one that people can't guess and that we can remember? Oh, another good question about passwords. Thank you very much, Martha. Um, I think it's important to remember, as I said before, that, that passwords are only as good as the person looking after them. So making sure you don't give them out to people is really important. But lots of sites and services now offer you the chance of doing what's called two-step verification, which is where you have to enter your password, but then you have to enter some other bit of information so that the website knows it's truly you. So again, making sure that you keep all your passwords in a safe place and only that you know them is really important to looking after your accounts. Thank you, Chadwell Primary School and Anderson Primary School for all Thanks, your questions. Guys. So now we're going to show you a clip from a short film made by Anderson Primary School and this beautifully animates the dangers to look out for on the internet. Don't agree to spam In a chat room turn off webcams Send messages that are polite Keep your private stuff from the internet A nickname when you chat, keep your information safe, block people you don't know, and don't meet up with the guy you met online. Thanks, Anson from Primary. I love that clip, and I know a couple of the school team here have uh, got that song in their heads as well. Do you like that, Gareth? I absolutely love it. I have to say that my, my daughters have gotten to singing that song as well, so I hear that a lot at home. But a fantastic way of highlighting the it's good, good things isn't it? and the things to stay safe online. And um, you guys out there, when you're using our website, you know, we've got opportunities to make your own films about this topic and other topics as well. Thanks for asking our questions, Gareth. I think I'm a lot more aware of what I should and shouldn't put on the internet now. And now, back to the quiz. Ah. Just before we give you the answers uh, to the three earlier questions, we'd love to let you know about some of our great Safer Internet Day resources that we've put together. So we can have a look there, Lily. So these are, these are pretty good. We've got uh, a complete toolkit there um, with teacher's notes for you and activities. We've also got the curriculum links as well, which are direct links that you can use with your teaching. We've got worksheets, lots of resources and discussion points. And as well, if you're interested in particular films that are on the resource, there are time codes there, so you can jump straight to them and save yourself a bit of time in the process as well. 
So, let's have a look at the answer, yes. shall we? See how many we got right. How many do you think you got right there at home? Um, one, two, or maybe even all three? So, for question one, the answer is B. Tell a teacher or a parent. That was the question about um, leaving me, if someone is, uh, you know, is leaving mean comments about somebody and what you do in that instance. Have you got any, anything to add about that? Yeah, so, so it's a really good bit of advice. So if you ever come across anything that you're worried about or upsets you online, then the key thing to do is to let an adult know about it. But also, obviously, you can, you can do things to make the internet a better place as well by showing respect online and using your manners and not retaliating to those mean comments either. Really good advice. Thanks for that, Gareth. Uh, the second question asked you um, what you would do if you get annoying pop-ups on your computer screen. This happens all the time, doesn't it? Um, B, the answer was, never open them and use shortcuts to close them. So again, really good advice. And um, I, it drives me nutty, the amount yeah. of adverts that I come across online. I don't know about you two. A yeah. uh, really good, useful tip that you can remember. If you're doing it on a desktop or a laptop computer, if you press down Alt and F4 on your keyboard, it will close down whatever the, the most open top window is. And if that's the advert, it will close it down. And that means that you don't Did have you to click that? on the cross. No. no. Yes. There you go. There. You learn something new every day. Oh. Um, but it also means you don't have to click on that cross in the corner of the advert, because sometimes they're, they're sneakily actually links that take you through to the site or somewhere else anyway. So, so always using those shortcuts is a really good idea. Brilliant. Very good. And the answer for the final question is A, tell the parents straight away. And that question was, what should you do if someone online asks you not to tell your parents about them? So again, really, really important. If you're ever worried about anything that someone says to you online or something that you come across, really key to let an adult know about it. As you saw in the earlier clip, um, it's really important to let an adult know if someone has contacted you online and wants to meet up with you offline, um, because that's something they can then help you make a really good decision about. An informed decision, brilliant. Well, I don't know how well you guys did out there in the quiz. Hope you managed to get them all right. And even if you got a couple right, that's a really good effort. All we have time for now is to thank Gareth for coming in today and answering everyone's questions. My thanks, pleasure. Gareth. Thank you so much for inviting me in. No, thanks very much, Gareth. Don't forget you can find more information on our website with all the links to the resources we talked about today. Bye. Bye-bye.